Hi, I'm Chris Brunhaver, and I'm the Senior Speaker Design Engineer here at PS Audio. And I'm hanging out again in our sales office, and we're talking speaker tech today. And the question for today is, why time alignment really doesn't work? And that's sort of a controversial title on, on purpose here. But you'll notice that you know, a lot of high-end speakers in, in their marketing material and also in their physical design will often you know, mention things about the um, time alignment of drivers. That, that is to say that um, so that the sounds coming from a mid-ranger woofer arrive at your ears at the same time as sounds from the tweeter. Um, or, and then the physical you know, arrangement, things like coaxial you know, alignment or um, you know, physical offset stepped baffles or adjustable tweeter and mid arrays. You know, they're employed in a number of high-end speakers. And not to say those speakers you know, aren't excellent. You know, many of them are excellent. Um, but it's, you're not always getting what you think you're getting in, in the case of this, this approach. I, you know, there are examples of speakers that are truly time and phase coherent. Um, you know, many years ago, I actually had a, a job interview with uh, the guys at Teal uh, Speakers, uh, Teal Audio, um, back um, when uh, Jim Teal was still living and met with uh, his lovely um, family, you know, Ka Kathy and Don and everything, and shared a lot of his insights into, um, you know, time aligned speakers. And he was doing first order acoustic speakers, so, you know, he's had to do very exotic. Um, woofers and tweeters in order to um, have a very, very shallow acoustic roll-off. So you're feeding, you know, a lot of bass into your tweeter. So, you know, job number one of a crossover is normally to make sure that your tweeter doesn't woof and your woofer doesn't tweet. But if you want to have, um, you know, a linear phase there um, you and do first order crossovers, you need to kind of feed some bass into your tweeter and, and vice versa. Um, and did some very exotic stuff and made that work. Um, but there, there are um, other examples of that, like um, uh, Dunlavey um, or Richard Vandersteen, uh, making you know really excellent sounding speakers that were time aligned and were um, you know phase coherent and all of that. Um, but uh, you know there are big compromises to those approaches. Again, you're feeding you know, uh, bass into your tweeter basically and, and need a very high output tweeter. And you also, you know, have um, a lot of folks that say they're time aligning things but aren't doing time alignment in the crossover. Um, and so if you use a traditional, um, you know, multi-way speaker with a multi-order crossover, um, you end up having, you know, um, acoustic delay, um, between the drive units because of um, the physical offsets of the speaker. So like the cone of a woofer is deeper than where a tweeter sits. But then also the crossover itself is causing delay. So each you know, order of the crossover, so whether it's 6 dB or 12 dB or 18 dB, is causing this 90 degree phase rotation or delay at the, at the frequency bands that the, the drivers are overlapping. Uh, in addition to that, you have um, you know, driver inductance and other factors that cause uh, relative acoustic delay. Um, and um, so, you know, even though a speaker might have this raked baffle where it's tilted back um, to try to physically align the woofer and tweeter um, or mid and tweeter, um, oftentimes they're not using first order crossovers. So they're really not, you know, time aligned. And, you know, the, the other thing is, um, is that important? You know, is time alignment really a critical factor? Um, and um, you know, th there's positives and negatives to, to all of these things. But typically, for first order filters, I see as as too much of a a, a negative. You, you end up really sacrificing distortion and output and things of that nature. And the system design, in order to accomplish that, um, th that um, you know, phase coherence. But yes, you physically need to align drivers fairly closely in order to get them to couple correctly, uh, even with a traditional crossover. So, um, you know, their physical alignment is still important, but, um, but linear phase itself isn't, you know, that important. Uh, there's been a number of studies, and basically, with psychoacoustics, the way that your, your brain system works, you actually 
it's debatable in what frequency bands um, you, you can actually hear uh, linear phase because of the asynchronous firing of, of the nerves and a number of things. So um, it's something that um, I wouldn't want to compromise other aspects of the system in order to achieve. That being said, there's now um, a, a lot of DSP approaches using uh, FIR filtering that allow for uh, a system that inherently doesn't have linear phase to then be time aligned by uh, doing that um, th yeah, through DSP processing, basically. And uh, that's something I've been playing around with a little bit, and it's interesting. Um, you know, there are caveats to that, you know, as far as having different um, system, you know, design requirements to have this, you know, processor in there and additional A to D conversions potentially that would cause sound quality issues. But yeah, I think there's, um, I, what I'm interested to hear is how much of it is the, the time alignment or phase I'm hearing and how much of it is, is other factors. Um, but you, you can basically, yeah, use these systems now to correct time um, with this, uh, you, know, um, you know, Dirac Research does one and there, there's a few others. Um, there's a system called Accurate. Um, so I'll put some links uh, in the video below here on those systems if you guys are curious about m time aligning an existing speaker you may already have. Um, but uh, it, in any case, um, oftentimes what looks like time alignment really is, and that's kind of the point of the video. And, um, you know, anyway, I, ho I hope that you guys, uh, you know, got something from this and look forward to talking with you more. And thanks so much. Bye.